I'm Tammy, I'm a full-time nail technician and this is Pumpkin. <laughs> I've always been an animal lover and I followed a local rescue charity here in Lincoln. They then got an emergency case. I got the phone call and got asked if we would foster Pumpkin. She's an, a breeder's dog, so she came from a breeder. The rescue was just told that she had leg issues. It was quite obvious that it wasn't just leg problems that she had. Um, her spine, you can see that there's something severely wrong. She's got no use of her back legs. So we are told that there's no pain, um, that she can't feel her legs. Um, but she does regularly have um, spasms, although she doesn't quite realise that her legs belong to her. She tries to attack them and chew them, which isn't nice to watch. My name is Ben Simpson Burnham. I'm a veterinary surgeon. I work in, in general practice treating people's pets. I set up TikTok in uh, about six months ago. Really, I set it up with the purpose of just trying to raise some awareness of some of the health issues that certain dog breeds are particularly prone to. I guess I, I did it as a sort of I'd say it's like an antidote to some of the content on TikTok that is uh, in relation to dogs that's potentially quite harmful and I think people don't really understand the kind of extent of it. At the moment she needs intensive um, hydrotherapy and physiotherapy. It will be about five hours a week. So within the six weeks she's actually already been to the vet four times because she's suffering with uh, UTIs and that's because she's incontinent so she can't actually empty her own bladder so she's going to be prone to this for forever. At least 15 years ago now there was a documentary called Pedigree Dogs Exposed and that sort of um, laid bare a lot of these issues relating to breeding pedigree uh, dogs. Health testing has become a lot more commonplace and they've changed some of the um, breed standards how each dog breed should look how much they should weigh and they've sort of moderated some of the language to, to try and discourage people breeding the more extreme that's really only been around for a few years so it's too early to see how much of a tangible difference that's making really the kennel club registered dogs are the minority of um, of dogs so it's all the other um non-kennel club registered dogs as well that aren't there's no sort of um oversight of because pumpkin can't use her legs she has a, a doggy wheelchair a set of wheels um, which she uses when we're out of the house she also has some boots that she has to wear on her rear legs because she doesn't feel her legs and um, she can damage them by um, like carpet burns or dragging them along the floor it's not easy and um, she is actually harder than a newborn baby Obviously she has to wear a nappy, she gets very messy so there's a lot of baths, a lot of cleaning up that's involved. She can't be left on her own, it's, it is really really hard um, but obviously she's worth it. My name's Hayley, I'm the assistant manager here for Lincoln to Rescue Kennels. Um, I've been here for a couple of years now and just thoroughly enjoy my job and what we do here for the dogs. As soon as I met Pumpkin, we fell in love with her. Um, the rescue were, they've got 29 other dogs in their care and they just didn't have the money. And I didn't want her to wait, I wanted to to get her seen as soon as possible. I set up a GoFundMe page, just thought that Lincoln people would donate and I would raise you know a few hundred pounds and we didn't we raised eight thousand well nearly eight thousand pounds and I managed to get her an appointment with one of the best veterinary surgeons in the world and we also also instantly decided that we were going to keep her and adopt her because how can you not and um, when we get dogs that have got a few issues or even just one or two issues People tend to overlook them. They don't see the benefits of having a rescue dog that is just there to give you all the love and attention. Nice. Seeing a dog become better for itself, better in health, them coming out the shells, finding their personalities, it's a very rewarding part of the job. She's so loving, she's so loving. She just brings a smile to your face. My other dog is so happy that she's got a little friend. My children, my children love her. 
Um, it's hard to remember life before pumpkin, even though we've only had it six weeks. I don't understand why people keep buying dogs from breeders. Um, it's just a money making business, isn't it? And unfortunately, dogs like pumpkin are the ones that suffer. It's very important to um, adopt rather than shop. I think if you're in a position to be able to, to adopt, to be able to rescue um, a dog, then, you know, that should always be the sort of first thing people consider. But a lot of people aren't necessarily in a, in a position to do that, so when they are buying a new puppy, um, I think it's all about just encouraging people to do the relevant checks on the, the breeder to make sure they're getting uh, a dog that has ideally been health tested that isn't, doesn't come from a puppy farm. I think rescue dogs tend to be a lot more loving because they know the hardship that they face. So once they find that loving home, they, they give it all they've got.